Okay, we're back with another White Dwarf video. This one's a few days later than planned. Um, I've just been really under the weather, and you could probably even still hear it in my voice. Um, but this is a lot better than I was a couple of days ago, so there. Anyway, this is issue 499. Um, before we get into it, I was just looking at our YouTube analytics, and since the last video last month I done with White Dwarf, we've had an extra four subscribers, so... Yeah, it's quite tragic. I know I don't do a lot of videos on it now, but um, plus four is quite is quite bad. Um, so if you want to help us double that by the next White Dwarf video, we can have a plus eight and then um, do hit the subscribe button. Um, I will do like um, other content in the future, but we're just so busy with uh, working on a new website at the moment. So I'd scale back a lot of other um, things, really. It's just, yeah, let's get into it. Da, 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 da. Uh, right, play with grace. So, yeah, play with grace. Don't be a douche, basically. So I assume that's what it says in the, um, not so many words. Go for contents. They're gorgeous, and um, we'll look at them a little bit more later. We have um, contact. One of the month is a Kragnos. Yeah, he's going to be disappointed that uh, Beastmen have left AOS. Uh, we have the Gate Crushers. Um, anyone who's active on social media would have probably seen um, these by Cerberus. Just the, the paint jobs are just absolutely stunning. I'm not going to get in um, to anything else, um, but I fully support support them. They're amazing. And yeah, I mean, the flag colours just look awesome on Space Marines. Uh, Quaxagors. Uh, that's really awesome. Right, some re I was just looking at it. I mean, is that non-metallic metal or not? I think. That, I mean, it looks like it is. So that's so cool. World of Warhammer. Uh, taking un Civil War to the battlefield. That's quite interesting. Yeah, you don't hear a lot about um, armies fighting themselves. And you certainly never really see that in um, in any of these sort of photos that GW release. Like the Stormcast there, Stormcast there. I, mean, you I can't recall ever sort of seeing that um, from official GW very often. Pretty cool, apart from Horus Heresy, before anyone wants to <laughs> jump in. Um, well, bunker, challenges. I don't follow any of it, so I apologise. We have a crusade campaign. Ah, these awesome tyrannids that we just saw. Oh yeah, so cool. I absolutely love them. And like the pink just really pops. Um, Death Guard. Death Guard always looks ama look amazing. Big fan of Death Guard. And we have missions. One for k one for AOS as always. We have got a battle plan, a generator for Warcry. It's pretty cool. And some basic training, getting your priorities right. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hobby hangout. Choosing a colour scheme for your new army part two. And we have our cardboard cutouts for our missions right in the middle here. I'm not a huge fan of... I mean, I like the cardboard cards. I just wish they were just separate and not just chucked in the book. Um, really detailed... Um, yeah, really detailed guide on how them awesome tyranids are painted, so that's really cool. Some hobby hacks. Um, basically... Um, dry brushes and stuff before you put your contrast paint on to add a bit more depth and highlights. A satellite uplink, the Redditch tabletop gamers. I love the colour scheme on them. Just the blue and the orange. Oh, it's sort of purple as well. Just They're amazing. They're actually amazing. Um, as are all the miniatures though. Yes, painted just so well. That is beautiful. We are seeing this guy a lot lately, aren't we? <laughs> oh, look at that. 
Amazing. I've still got a Fate Weaver I need to build and paint, actually. I really like VM. Yeah, I really like that. Watch that for my Fate Weaver. Get the old airbrush back out. There he is again. <laughs> Love the Demon Prince. That space wall is really interesting. Very bright colours, but I love that. I've probably gone for a darker base myself, although snow bases do really suit them. Um, but that's awesome. I really like that. There's some amazing miniatures. Mean, there's always amazing miniatures in there, but I really like, really like some of the ones in here so far. Really nice. Hey, the Sigma. Tervyak Arcana. I feel bad because I never really read through a lot of this. I'm not a fluff guy, really. I just like looking at pretty pictures of miniatures and different rules and stuff. I'm um, counting down our top, our top ten most narrative rules. Fair enough. Uh, Warcry. The Death Gorge Bladeborn. And then we've got their rules in here. So, are these underworld miniatures with rules? I apologise, I don't actually know. I should be better than this. I'm, I'm sure they are, though. I think they are. And I like that they do that. Although, I don't know if anyone's seen them recent rumours that both games, um, <laughs> a lot of the miniatures for them might not be viable in the future. Who knows, just rumours are rumours though. Alright, anyway, ignore all that. Tale of Four Warlords, we are at the end. The Warlords complete their collections. All hail the Warlord Warlords. Um, Death Guard and World Eaters, gotta get the Primarchs in there. Just look at these armies. Oh, I'll just give you all a moment just to have a look at each one. Um, I don't know how well it shows up on video or what detail. Like YouTube likes to compress the bloody videos, don't they? Um, buy a white dwarf if you want to see him. That's the whole point. Um, but these armies are just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Just beautiful. I just, I love the rhinos. I really love the rhinos. And the land raid is actually really nice as well. I mean, the whole army's gorgeous. I'm a big chaos guy, so easily, easily impressed when it comes to chaos. Beautiful, how amazing that is! I love that. It's just a gorgeous tank. That's a really cool conversion as well. Really like that. That's awesome. Anyway, a conclave of progress. There's a lot happening here. <laughs> the Marines of Votan and um, the Tyranids. And then we've got more Tyranids, along with some Admech and Guard. And just look at the tanks. I love an armoured company. I don't build and paint a lot of tanks. I should really, because they just look fantastic together. I've got nowhere to play. Put the bloody things. <laughs> I'm run out of space for the miniatures. That's nah, just beautiful. Beautiful. And four amazing looking armies. Quite sad that it all ends. I don't even feel that long ago. They had their little painting com contest and. To see who was gonna participate. That's mad. I think it was like what like nearly a year ago or something. Time just goes. Anyway, mysteries of the uh, cryptex. So little section now all about the Necrons. Lots of fluff. Uh Deptus Uh Deptus Mechanica story. With the Necrons, and then a um, mission, a um, board and action mission. Oh, I apologise, I cannot talk properly today. Um, lots of board and action missions. Whew. 
And then Necron Dynasties. They got some different dynasties for their different um, icons and colours. And all a bit about creating your own. And then of course, lots of beautiful Necron miniatures. I like the tail on that guy. Yeah, really nice stuff. There's more. Never been that into Necrons myself, personally, but they're pretty cool. I really like, again, something about just blue and orange together just, just always looks great no matter what my army is. And there's more. Yeah. Oh, there's even more. I quite like these ones. And then Purge vs. Xenos. Now we've got a Death Watch collection. I love the Death Watch. I don't like paint and black, but I love the Death Watch. I have a little army myself, all sort of converted up, but they're mostly firstborn, so it's a bit annoying. I wouldn't mind redoing some or adding to them one day. So that's a Death Watch, beautifully painted. Um, not much going on in ways of conversions, though. Oh, I do like him. Yeah, I mean, with an army sh with an army showcase, I don't know. I I would prefer to see more conversions. Otherwise, you're just looking at stuff that you would just see on the GW website, really, aren't you? Um, but he's very cool. Streets of Death. Uh, this is for Nick Ramanda. And then we've got some champions. Really, really cool. Yeah, I really like that as well. Oh, they're all amazing. Um, Tome, Tome Keepers. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, volume 4. And then lastly, inside the studio. Uh, a little bit more Bunker, uh, bunker Bingo from Skaven. Looking forward to their new releases and seeing what else they've got to come. Um, next issue is issue 500, so the big one. I mean, what's going to be on that? I mean, White Dwarfs are okay. They're not, they're not fantastic. I mean, I grew up collecting them in the late 90s when they were really good. Really good. Um, so, yeah. Let's hope, let's hope it'll just be packed full of nostalgia. And some extra awesomeness as well. But, yeah, that's next month. So, yeah, this month, um, as I said earlier, if we could... Get them subscribers up. Let's have, let's have an extra eight by the time I do the next one. That'll be something, wouldn't it? And yeah, feel free just to like the video. Um, any like and comment and anything just really helps the channel. We gotta sort of try and not die out while I'm just taking a little break. So yeah, um, I'll see you all again in the next video.